This is Boxing Talk 8576. I just got done watching Adonis Stevenson fight. Um, he knocked the guy out. Adonis Stevenson clearly showed that he got concussive power. Um, we all knew that. Um, it's just a couple things that a little alarming in the ring, I think, with uh, Adonis Stevenson. For once, for one, um, his, his he looks a little jittery in the ring, like he's uncomfortable. Like uh, his his legs don't look like they're very sturdy. Don't look like they're you know up under him well. He looked kind of like how Tito Trinidad looks in the ring. You know, at Tito Trinidad, he used to get hit by uh, and knocked down a lot in you know flash knockdowns because his legs just look jittery. But um, and Adonis Adonis Stevenson looked looked a little soft in the ring. His body looked a little soft. I'm used to seeing him in better shape than that body-wise. I don't know what it is. I don't know if he, you know, not focused, was, was not focused for this fight or didn't take this guy that serious, but he looked a little, a little soft in there. Um, Adonis Stevenson got a 77-inch reach. Uh, you know, he's about 5'10", 5'11". I would like to see him use his jab more. You know, and jab to the body a little bit more. Uh, you know, with that reach uh, that he has, that long reach that he has. And another thing, um, he needs to uh, go to the gym and start working on using his right hook. It'd be nice if he, you know, incorporate his right hook in there while he wait, waiting on the left hand to land because it looks like he's he's a little left hand happy and he falls all the way in with his left hand. I mean. I mean, he falls all the way in. He needs to be careful of that, you know, as he fight better fighters from falling way in with his left hand. And, you know, he, he's off balance when he throws it a lot of a lot of times. The one time that he did throw it flush, he was on balance. And he threw it straight down the cup and dropped dude. So, you know, he needs to work a little bit more on the accuracy of his punch. Um, I don't know. I just... I got Kovalev beating him for the simple reason I, Kovalev looked more, you know, polished in the ring. Kovalev looks more comfortable, looks more at ease in the ring. The more at ease you are, the better you can get your punches off with better accuracy. You know, the the jitter, you know, that jittery stuff that Adonis Stevenson was displaying in the in the ring today. You know, it was not he was not able to settle down enough to land his punches with you know accuracy. Um, and the guy that he was facing didn't move his head a lot. I thought that Donald Stevenson could have probably got him out of there a couple rounds before that if he would have settled down and threw his left hand straight down the pipe. You know, and and uh, with accuracy, I thought he could have did that a long time ago because the guy was not moving his head at all. And it took it took him about you know about four rounds to really find the guy hit with a clean shot. So I don't know. Um, I like Adonis Stevenson though. I don't think he's a boxer puncher though. I think I think Adonis Stevenson is a puncher. I think he's a puncher. He will have to um, throw his jab a little bit more. He did go to the body a little bit. He should have went to the body more. He could have froze the guy that came up with his straight left hand. That would have helped him land the left hand, you know, with um, accuracy if he would have threw the uh, jab to the body a little bit more. He did it a little bit, but uh, I would like to see it, see him do it more. That probably would help him on his accuracy as far as his, his left hand is concerned. And then another thing, when he uses his jab, if you can touch a guy with your jab, you can touch him with your left hand if you're orthodox. If you use uh, your, your jab when you're... Um, when you're um, orthodox, you can touch him with your right hand. So if he uses his uh, jab more, if Adonis Stevenson uses his jab more, he can touch guys. If he can touch him with his jab, he can touch him with his uh, left hand. And that'll probably help him on his accuracy too. But I like Adonis Stevenson though. You know, he go he, he goes in there, he knocks guys out. I, I like knockouts. But um, I don't think he's a boxer puncher. I think he's more of a puncher, but that's okay. But I just think Kovalev has more fastest to his game, and if they ever fight, I'll break that fight down. This is Boxing Talk 8576. I'm out. And uh, let me know what you think, uh, what you think is, you want to um, see a Dom season in the ring with next, um, who you want. I want, I want Kovalev, but that may not happen in 
No time soon. They talking about Gene Pascal. So let me know what you think. Bobby Talk 8576. I'm out.